Hi, today we are going to discuss about the black line roles that the black line offers and the step by step assignments of these roles to the users. So there are multiple roles that the black line offers that we will discuss in next couple of minutes. So as you can see on the screen that I have been logged in as the system admin and I have multiple roles assigned to me uh, in the user assignments. So let's understand how these assignments are done and what are all the roles that can be available. So the first to understand what are all the roles that we want to keep activated or deactivate for the for our organization get into the system settings and under the system settings in the users uh, menu go to the role definitions. In the role definitions, you can see there are two categories of the roles. The first green highlighted one are the default and the mandatory roles, preparer, approver, and the reviewer. However, the names of these roles can be modified, like the name reviewer can be changed to the additional approver name. And there is the second bucket of the roles, like which is the red highlighted, which are, are the optional roles that the black line offers. So uh, we can keep it activated. We can activate those roles during our implementation or we can deactivate or we can even change the names of the these roles based on the current organization policies. So similarly, by, uh, similar to the roles names, even the status, the status of the workflow can be changed. So if the preparer complete does uh, completes its job, the workflow status shows as the prepared. Similarly, for the reviewer, it instead of the reviewed, it can be changed to the completed. So once the changes have been made, click on save and then let's understand now what are all these roles signifies and what are their actions and uh, what are their uh, responsibilities in the black line. So the first is the preparer, approver and the reviewer. Those are the three mandatory roles that the black line offers. So the preparer is the one who takes all the actions like for the journal creation, it creates the journal for reconciliation. It prepares the reconciliation and similarly for task management module, uh, it prepares the task uh, it, or the initiates everything. So the second role is the approver. So once the preparer completes his task, the workflow goes to the approver, the assigned approver. So the approver does the first level examination of what the preparer has done. And if everything goes well, it moves on to the second person of the review, uh, uh, second level of uh, approver that is reviewer. However, if the approver finds yes, there is something wrong, it can go, it will reject and it will go directly back to the preparer. Similarly, there is the additional workflow reviewers that is the account reviewer and the consultant where the workflow can be routed for their consultations or for their uh, examination. Second set is the reviewer roles. So the reviewer roles don't have to take any specific action in the black line, but they can oversee and oversight what exactly is happening at the, in their organization basis on the, uh, the assignments or basis on the roles that has been assigned to them of a what level of the entity structure. So the account manager generally has for one typical set of accounts like the R2R or the R2R accounts or the cash accounts or only the, the payroll accounts. Similarly, the financial reviewer can be for at the country level or at a particular region level. And similarly, for the financial manager can, could be at the uh, at the country level or something like that. So these are the reviewer roles that do the oversight of all the activities that is done by the preparer, approver and the uh, uh, reviewers. So the next set is the internal auditor and the external auditor. So sometimes the auditors uh, request for some information like reconciliation or the journal entries. So these auditors will directly get access to the black line and that will eliminate the need to specifically share the information by the preparers by email. So the next set is the leadership role that works at the whole entity level that uh, their access is generally dr driven at the, the, uh, the top level of the organization. So the last and the most important is the administrator role. 
So there are three roles which the black line offers: local admin, business admin, and the system admin. Local admin has the restricted set of uh, responsibilities, uh, wherein they can just manage the uh, the requests that are coming from the locally. Generally, there is the local admin is there at the at every region level. The system admin and the business admin are the exact same role, except. the uh, ex with one exception the exceptional difference that is the user creation the user creation involves the license and the cost with the black line so that is why that ro that role and that responsibility is reserved only for the system admin other than that business admin and system admin can configure and modify any con con configurations in the black line in the future generally there there is always one system admin and uh, two to three business admin basis on the number depends on the number of the users which are going to use the black line so now let's understand how a user can be created so uh, to create a user and to do the role assignments to the users get into from the home screen go to the system settings and under the system settings and users menu go to the users admin grid when after clicking the user admin grid this screen will appear here if you can see the uh, one user is already been created and to go play, uh, to add the new user click on the add new users so once the users is create uh, when that button is clicked there is the, all the multiple information that has to be provided in order one, uh, in order to be that user to be activated the first is the user information that is the mandatory one where the login id email id uh, first name and the last name so these needs to be mandatorily provided and the status has to be active so the remaining the job title supervisor phone number these are all the optional fields to be provided at the user information the second mandatory information is the entity level access so before we provides the user uh, some uh, so the entity we have discussed in our previous session how the an organization structure or the entity structure is been set up so once it is set up that uh, this user will be assigned or will have the data access at access at what level that entity level or the entities access needs to be provided here once it is done we move on to the next optional uh, in assignments that is the team assignments we will be discussing a team structure in the upcoming sessions so here we will uh, the user will be assigned with with the relevant teams uh, to which the user will be part of the next is the authorized roles you can see all the roles that has been activated in the role definition grid will appear over here for all the multiple modules of blackline so the modules if you can see on the top it's account consolidation general document match task and so on which we will be discussing in in our upcoming sessions so here the users will be provided the the level of role for that particular module and uh, these are the additional configuration uh, roles and responsibilities that the user can be provided with and lastly click on save so once the user the save button is clicked the user will get a no notification that you have been got uh, you got a black line access you, uh, and an email will be sent to the users in their email box so now let's discuss about if we want to deactivate any particular role for the deactivation we again go to the roles definitions grid and there uncheck the uh, the roles where the the where the organization won't don't want to opt for it it can be done at the start or this activity can be done later part in the later part of uh, the uh, the black line usage as well so once the deactivate the check box is unchecked clicked on save okay and then going ahead you will see in the user admin grid those roles will no longer be visible for the uh, for the definitions right and similarly once you refresh your screen you will see on the home screen also those roles will no longer be available to toggle and to select that's all thank you so much